Hello everybody, and we're back again with more Deltarune. Um, so we just got chased by a mysterious figure, and now we're gonna be in this new town for some reason. I don't fucking know. Sundertale, right? Or whatever. Anyway. Uh, God. The A and B button are, like, reversed, and that really is messing with me. So, yeah. But, um... So we're gonna go through this. Um, you know, we got a lot of shit that we gotta talk about, so that's gonna be fun. Um, it's also, it's the day after I recorded the first episode, so I'm kind of like a little bit off my crazy high of Deltarune. So that's gonna be nice. You know, I'm the princess kingdom, blah, blah, blah. Who fucking cares? Um, basically telling us, hey... I have a story, um, please listen, and since I didn't show it in the intro for the first episode, um, I'm gonna show this and kinda just, like, let it play while I talk about the goal for this series, cause every series I think should have a goal, and a very key point of this is I wanna try and make it so that I have a I want to do certain things within this playthrough that I didn't really get to maybe in the first playthrough that I did and just look around and explore a little bit but also kind of keep towards the straight and narrow of everything and make sure I get everything done right but yeah so woohoo it's Undertale what do you expect this is actually a lot more, like, proper RPG story than Undertale is. Like, it's more Final Fantasy-esque, and I really like that, actually. I think it's really... I think it suits this game a lot more. Whereas, like, the other game was a lot more Earthbound, I feel like. So, yeah. Three heroes appear at World's Edge. A human. A monster. And a prince from the dark. Whatever will they do? Who knows? But, um... God, this fucking music is great. I will say... That... I got fucking chills from this when I first saw this. I was like, oh my god. Like, it made me feel... So goddamn, like... Oof. Like... I don't know how to describe it, just chilly on my back, like goosebumps. It was amazing. Oh man. But recently, another fountain of evil has appeared. Go fucking get it! The balance of light and dark begins to shift. Um. Yeah, so, basic story, light and dark needs to be in balance, if it doesn't, shit goes bad, go find the dark portal, whatever, go fix it. And yeah, and so, Delta Warriors, accept your destiny, or get mm -hmm. fucked. Mm -hmm. Nope, not doing it. I, I really like um, the fact that Susie basically is just out of your control. I really like that. Like, she's just straight up a fucking, like, bitch the entire time. And I love that. Hmm. Oh my god, is it Sans? As if... Fucking... Who else could it be? It... Son of the month. Yep. Anyway, um, I. <laughs> hmm. So, I really like Lancer. Everyone says I'm fucking Lancer, and I fucking hate it. Everyone, anyone who says that, fuck off. Stop it. It's not funny. It was funny in the like first day the game came out. It's not anymore. Don't be a fucking asshole. God damn it. It's your only way home. But I, Lancer, won't let you go. This guy is basically just like Sans and Papyrus mixed into one. Like, God. 
So, okay. After like 25 minutes or half an hour of not being able to actually fight, we actually get into the combat of this game. You'll notice it's a lot different all of a sudden. It's actually like somewhat decent. I'm gonna actually turn down my game real quick, just a tad. So hold on, there we go, that's a little bit better. Oof, anyway, so this is crazy. This new fighting system. So you actually have like all the normal things, but you have defend, which is good, and you can act like normal. So you can say compliment this guy, like true Undertale fashion, and it affects the fight. But then you got Susie, who makes choices on her own. So you have to play around her. That's really good. So if I warn fucking Lancer, she'll start missing. The, and that's like, God damn it. And that's like really good. I really like that upgrade to this whole fighting system. It's really cool. Um, so yeah, we got that. Now we can fight, which um, again, there is no genocide route. Um, not to call a spade a spade, but he is a spade. Not all enough to ride a motorcycle, so he set his bike on fire. Pretty accurate. But yeah, no, I fucking love Lancer. He's such a great character. Like, uh, Toby Fox knows how to make good characters, honestly. And I really do like it. So, the only thing we have to do is to fight, I think. So, yeah. Or I think you can wait it out, too. But, yeah. Also, you'll notice that, um... <laughs> and we won! We got 0 EXP and 39 Dark Bucks, or whatever it's called. Oh, man. Fucking... You, you might notice it looks a little bit similar to my fucking new character slash icon that I use for my channel. Totally didn't get inspired from this. But yeah, no, fucking, it's Ralsei, the fucking fluffy boy who I love. Hmm. Like... Gosh, he, I love him. I love him so much. I want to protect him. He's so cute. Um. Yeah, so. Fucking. Run out. Also, you'll notice late motifs. Now, I'm gonna take a second to talk about this, because it's important. Listen to the music as we go through this game, because you'll notice that throughout the game, late motifs replay throughout the entire series. Fucking this game has amazing usage of late motif, and I love it. It's basically the whole um um yeah fucking. I'm just gonna mash through this and just attack because um. So yeah, he's just explaining the basic stuff, but um, I'll actually take this time to mention one of the upgrades for um, the fighting system, which is when you get hit, or not hit, so when you're in the bullet box, um, when you're in the bullet box, you can get closer to um, You can get closer to enemies' bullets in order to essentially, um, hmm. yeah, <laughs> it's cute. Anyway, fucking little meme things. And he's like, oh, you can spare people, and you don't have to kill people if you don't want to. So, yeah. 
just cover through it and then run through. So yeah. The great door is open. The Lancer got through. Fucking go f kick his ass, please. Your choices are important too, but we don't have any choices. Our choices don't matter. Yeah. I can handle it. We played Undertale, we know. We know what to do. Um... Fuck. So, I'm trying to think. <laughs> um... This game... Uses lay motif really well. And you'll notice that, like, music will play through... And... Things will repeat. Like... Um, a great example is, you'll notice that in the Field of Hopes and Dreams, which is one of my favorite tracks from this game, if you haven't been watching my videos, you'll notice that I use it in a lot of my background stuff. But, um, let's see if I can get past them. Nope. So. Actually. What? Oh, whoops. Oh, I need TP. Yeah, so, but I use this music a lot, um, in my videos, cause it's, it's a fucking bop, is what it is. You know? And I love it, it's, it's so good! Great music. Um... Yeah, just signs from Lancer. You're gonna notice that I'm gonna be going through this and kind of not caring about what all the funny little meme jokes are. Um. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Shit. Um, but yeah, you'll notice that I'm um, getting closer to the bullets and trying to actually get them to graze me. And that is a thing that is actually pretty common in bullet hells. Um, where you want to get as close to the bullets as possible in order to essentially um, get a higher score. So this, this new system... Um, actually fucking incentivizes you to get closer to the bullets and dodge properly and do more crazy maneuvers. So yeah, I'm just gonna... I know, I'm skipping shit. Damn it. Can I just run? I don't, like... I don't even want to fight these guys. I'm just like, whatever, fucking... Who cares? Let's see. Yeah, oh man, Th these guys, fucking, the heart guys, they actually give you a lot of TP if you manage to, like, graze all their little hearts. Forget about it, though. But yeah. Um, oh wait, can I get? Yeah. I will take these dark candies. Yeah, you're gonna notice I'm probably gonna get through this game a lot faster than most people. Did it work? Oh yeah, it did. Okay. And that's because I have played through this already once, so I'm kind of just like... When you play through this game once, you kind of already know everything about it. So, you know, it is what it is. And it's just like, hey, go fucking put the thing on. Science private. Um, oh, it's just this way. Signed Lancer. But don't count your blessings before they hatch. See how fair against this team. Um. It's so cute. I fucking I love this game so much. It's just great. Totally outnumbered. Hmm. 
<laughs> Again, quirky. Like fucking every game Toby Fox makes. Yeah, it's just, it's whatever. Um, God, I don't know what to really say about this game, because I've played through so much. <laughs> oh, God, fucking later losers, fucking. The only, literally, like, the only way that, like, Lancer would become any more like me, though, is, like, if he said fucking... Like, oh god. Like, I'm trying to think of, like, what else he does that's, like, fucking like me. That he doesn't do. Let's just get this over. We got Susie back, fucking, I don't know. I'm, I'm so done with this game already, because I'm just, like, I've played through it almost twice now. So I kind of already know it. It's a great game, it's funny, just not funny when played three times within a single month. And the worst part was I did a genocide run, quote unquote genocide run. You can't actually kill anyone. So like, doing that was like... Ugh, it was not fun because it just it doesn't work. You don't do anything. You don't get anything Um. Yeah She's barely cognizant of what that means You don't want to accidentally hurt it Hurting it's the point you moron Attack us so it dies simple, right? Yeah, there's a word for that. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, no, so a lot of this game is playing around fucking murder hobo Susie, and it's really fucking bullshit. Fuck her. Um, yeah, so... Just going. Oh man, it's a shopkeeper. It's Sham, my fucking favorite. Um. No, this was like the uh, um picture that I saw. Whenever um. This was the picture I saw when Deltarune first got announced. It was just a screenshot of this. So I was like, ooh, I was so excited because. I was like, um, sell armor, um, wait, no, I want to buy something. So, mysterious hamburger, defensive charm, and exit, and then we'll save here and then call it good for right now. I'll see you next episode where we go through the rest of the fucking area. I don't know. See you then. Bye-bye.